Hi guys! This is Ivy and welcome to my channel. May panibagong video tutorial na naman tayong gagawin. In my previous video, itinuro ko sa inyo kung paano mag-prepare ng payment list or remittance list for contributions and loans sa pag-ibig using Excel Converter. At itinuro ko rin sa inyo kung paano magbayad through Ego Banknet. For today's video, ituturo ko naman kung paano mag-generate ng remittance list using Electronic Submission of Remittance Schedule or ESRS. Kung gusto mo itong malaman, please keep watching until the end of this video. Shout out to Jona Ramos na nag-request para sa tutorial na ito. Without any further ado, let's get started. Pumunta sa website, just enter pagibigfundservices.com slash ESRS employer slash and enter. Ilalagay ko sa description box yung link. Just enter the user ID and password ng employer account. And click continue. This is the homepage ng website. Before we start, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo kung ano ang makikita sa dashboard. Manage user, manage employee, payment instruction, at user account. Okay? Sa dashboard, same page lang sila ng website homepage. Employer profile lang din ang makikita. Sa manage user, if ever na may gusto kang i-add na employee na mag-handle ng ESRS, dito ka mag add ng record for ESRS user account. Click add user, then fill out the details needed. As you can see here sa user account, dito mo makikita yung user account profile or kung sino ang mga may access sa ESRS. At dito din sa user account makikita ang logout button. And now, sa manage employee, this is the important part bago ka mag-generate ng remittance list. Double check the employee list. This is the master list ng mga active employee namin. Let's say may new employee kayo at wala pa siya sa list. Click Add Employee lang po. If ever na nag-resign naman, click Update Employee Record. Ito yung amount ng employee at employer share for pag-ibig contribution. At ito naman yung amount ng salary or multi-purpose loan ng employee. Question, paano mag-remove ng resign employee? Just click the name you want to delete or to update and click Update Employee Record. Dito sa employment status, kindly change from active to separated or resigned. Then, dito sa display remittance with status, select close. Select close kung no contribution na. Pero, kung may share pa siya that month, remain active lang muna para mabayaran ang pag-ibig contribution niya. Then, click save changes. And now, ipapakita ko naman kung paano mag-update ng record if ever na may loan na yung employee nyo. Just click the name and click update employee record. Click add remittance, click payment type, then select multipurpose loan. Then supply the other information needed. For now, hindi ako makakapag-input ng details dahil wala pa siyang existing loan. Kaya may remarks dito sa taas na employee has na outstanding multipurpose loan. Once natapos ka na mag-input ng details, click Add. Next, kung sakaling itong employee ay tapos na sa loan niya, click this. Click Update Employee Record. Then, click Update Button. Click Status. Select Close. Then, change the amortization amount to zero. Back to the topic. If nothing change naman sa master list nyo, same with me, no need to change anything. Proceed na tayo sa payment instruction. Click create new. Then click back sa member saving. Or kung salary loan ang babayaran mo, click multipurpose loan. Dito sa period covered, for the month of May ang babayaran ko. FYI lang guys, ang pwede mo lang ma-generate ay previous month. Today is June 12, 2021. So, ang pwede ko lang ma-generate ay May 2021. Hindi ka makakapag-generate ng past few months, pero pwede kang mag-advance payment. Then, click continue. 
Okay guys, double check the details. Dito sa amount, ito yung total amount ng pag-ibig member savings namin for 19 employees. Sa covered month, tama naman for the month of May lang ang babayaran ko. Itong view button, dito mo makikita yung remittance list na babayaran natin for the member savings. Itong add button ay para madagdagan ang covered month na babayaran. Yung na-generate natin kanina ay for the month of May lang. Click add period para masama sa babayaran yung for the month of June. May prompt message na successfully added na ang June 2021. Click OK. So ayan na guys, nabago na yung period covered na babayaran natin. Naging May 2021 to June 2021 na. So good for 2 months na siya. At ito naman yung total amount na babayaran natin. Kung ayaw mo naman bayaran itong pang June, click lang natin itong last button. May prompt message na, Are you sure you want to remove the remittance list for the month of June 2021? If yes, click yes. Then, okay. Here we go! Nag-change na ulit yung period covered month natin. Kung tama na ang lahat ng details dito, just click Submit Payment Instruction. Another prompt message, click Yes. At may notification dito sa taas na Payment Instruction has been created. So this is the Payment Instruction number na gagamitin natin for payment. Click Download Payment Instruction. Print out lang natin itong payment instruction form or PIF kasi ito yung ibibigay natin sa bayad center or payment center. By the way guys, nagtry akong bayaran ito through eGov. Kaso hindi pwede dahil naka PDF file. Ang ina-accept lang sa eGov for pag-ibig ay MCL file. So itong PIF ang ibibigay mo sa bayad center, kukunin nila yung upper part. At sa iyo naman yung lower part kasi yun na yung magiging resibo mo. Kung nakatulong sa inyo itong video, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Pakiclick na rin yung notification bell para updated ka kapag may mga bago akong upload na video gaya nito. Thank you and God bless everyone!